Hello, future people. Welcome to Getting Tabled. I'm Jason the Bruce, and today we're going to check out the Listen Up box from Malifaux. So, back into Malifaux again today. This is a box that I ordered back in March. Yeah. Uh, now, to be fair to the store, this had been there for a while, uh, but the other thing hadn't turned up. Or they hadn't ordered it, one or the other. After six months, I was like, uh, guys, what's going on? Uh, in the end, I ended up cancelling the second thing that I wanted, chose something else instead and offered to pay the difference, uh, but they let me have it at that original price. So that was very kind of them. They did not have to do that. Uh, I certainly wasn't asking for that. I certainly wasn't complaining about it either. Uh, but, yeah. It's been waiting a while for this. <laughs> I think it's time for the Bruce to get some Malifaux games in. Let's get a look at these. All right. So, first things first, lovely look at the box art. This is one of the boxes. So this is a little bit different. When they changed over to the third edition and they started pushing all of these different boxes together, there's certain older boxes that got combined into one box. So the Cryers you used to be able to buy as a separate box, and then Old Cranky was a character that you used to be able to buy by himself. But because retail stores were having so much trouble trying to keep the entire range in stock, because it's not a small range, uh, they turned around and they started to actually combine things. So this is one of those boxes. I didn't have either side of this, so I'd needed it for a while. And the big cat crew... All right, so we get all of the cards that we need. We are going to start with Old Cranky. So Old Cranky is an enforcer. He's living and he's got the big hat keyword. He'll only cost you five. He's got four defense, four willpower, four movement, and he's size one. That you should find is pretty common across most of the Bayou, actually. Not everybody, but most. I will let you guys read through this. He does have four health. On the back, we've got our attacks. So we've got a fancy cane. It's got a one-inch range. It is a melee, but it's got a range. Uh, it's got a four stat. It's against defense. It'll either do two, three, or four damage. We do have a trigger on hold down. Uh, sorry, on Raven for hold down. If this model is engaged... So if this model is engaging the target, another friendly model within line of sight to the target may take a shooting action against the target, which is normally something that's very risky to do. So I quite like that. We've also got Obey. So this is a 12-inch ability, stat 5 against willpower, and the target number is 14 with a mask. So you need a mask to pull this off. This action cannot target the same model more than once per activation, and it's non-master only, which is fairly common. Target model takes a non-quick action that does not attach upgrades or a, or list a model by name, chosen and controlled by this model. Uh, if you get a second mask, then you can drunken stumble which will push this model one inch in any direction. So the big thing with this, obviously you could use this against your opponents, but you could also use it against your own people. When you're targeting your own models, you can choose for that model to fail, where an opponent obviously won't do that. That's the big thing with these obey things. If that has changed by chance since second edition, somebody correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's still the same. Uh, his quick action is Frantic Search, remove target corpse marker, discard the top card of this model's fate deck. If the discarded card was a ram or a tome, add one soul stone to this crew's soul stone pool. So that's potentially really helpful if you're starting to run out. We also have the Gremlin Crier. All three of these are the same. They'll cost you six. These are minions. 
You can have a maximum of three. And it's living and big hat. Defense five, willpower five, movement five, size one. I will let you guys read through the abilities. Feel free to pause. Otherwise, this one has six health. And then on the back, we have sharp wit. This is another, this is another melee that has a range. So it's one inch. Stat of five against willpower. Target gains slow. So you've insulted them, basically. Uh, if you get a tome, you've got a trigger for beautiful clothes. Target gains plus one distracted. For ravens, hear ye, hear me. Uh, if the target is in base to base with this model, it suffers two damage. Uh, and you'll notice that this doesn't actually do damage by default. Uh, and if you get a ram, defensive reflexes, this model gains shielded one. So all of those are good for different reasons. The Obey is exactly the same and can work exactly the same as the previous one, but we have different triggers here. So if you get Raven, we get Delay, which means the target gains slow. If you get Masks, Threat and Beatings, the target may ignore being engaged and its insignificant ability when resolving the generated action. So if you threaten to beat it up, it'll be able to do whatever it wants without having to worry about being engaged. Um, so you probably want to try to aim for that, really. You might have, it'd be worth spending a soul stone to try and get that. Uh, the quick action, spreading the good news, discard any number of cards. For each card discarded by this action, this model heals one. Nice, straightforward. All right, so we are going to start with Mr. Old Cranky, that is possibly the best named character in the Bayou, I think. The, the Bayou Gremlins all have really cool names. It's just something fun about it. So there's some really nice detail. Like even in, So this is his beard here. This is the back of his head. This is a model that's going to be a little bit more complicated than others. When I fight back against the um, Malifaux stuff being so difficult. This is one of the things that I'm usually referring to. Uh, it's also not uncommon for this, where is it, that to happen? Is it that? No. Um, it's also not uncommon for sometimes even feet to be separate. It's not on this. That one is intact. Uh, there is a leg that's separate, but that's not entirely unusual either. It just depends on what is required to get the pose that they want. Uh, Weird are not afraid to make a more difficult model to build because the final result is better in their eyes. Uh, they will take the artist's approach first. I, I kind of really like that. I, I like the fact that he's deaf and he's trying to... He's trying to listen. Out. He's like halfway through yelling at someone. It, it, I, old Cranky has always been somebody I wanted because I wanted to paint him. I really don't know what I'm going to paint him up like yet. Maybe I could do him up to be like Mr. Simpson, but with a beard. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But the model itself is just absolutely gorgeous. This is the start of our Cryers. So what you'll notice what you'll notice is that this was originally connected to the rest of the sprue. But to fit it in the box, they've snipped it before so that they could ship it like this, so that it'll fit in the new box. The old boxes used to be larger. So this here is the rest of that model. So he's riding on the back of a pig. Again, Really, really nice looking details. Really, really nice. We're going into the other one now. Malifaux have some really, really gorgeous models. Like, seriously, Malifaux is really worth your time. Um, more so than the other side. Um, I, I know that the other side does have its fans. 
I have not played the game. The models to me were very disappointing because I started here and felt that the other side was a massive step backwards. Um, but if you're looking for a skirmish game and you're not afraid of doing a little bit of Victorian horror, honestly, I could not recommend Malifaux enough. It's insanely good. So there we go. That's the Listen Up box from Weird Miniatures. Uh, like I said, Malifaux was a game that I honestly could not recommend enough. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you don't have a group in your area that's playing it, be the one to start it. This is one of the best games on the market. In my opinion, it's my favorite game on the market right now and has been for quite a while. Uh, which is not to say that other things couldn't take that spot. I would argue that there are contenders for that spot at the moment. Um, but honestly, this is worth your time. You've made it through to the end of another video. Your next mission is to hit subscribe and comment down below. If you'd like to reach out to the team, consider doing that, getting tabled at gmail.com. Consider subscribing to our Patreon. For only $2 a month, you get early access to almost every single video that we do. Our most active social media is facebook.com slash getting tabled. It's where you'll find everything first. There's also a Discord. There's an invite on screen right now. If you type that in, it'll give you instant access. If you're on Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at getting tabled. It's not the most active, but it's something we're trying to use more all the time. Come and check out Jason the Bruce at Twitch. He does both video game and hobby content. And of course, without question, play more games.